story because, as we know, Saudi Arabia is the world's largest oil exporter. They're a key ally of the United States for the past 80 years. And Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is heir to the Saudi throne, and he is architect of some of the major social, economic, and political reforms that are underway there. The prince is already one of the most powerful leaders in the production of the world. To do with the fact that the Crown Prince of diversification of the economy. It's very important. It actually is the way he's trying to change the economy. He's trying to bring women and young people into uh, employment. He's trying to radically reform things. And the most important thing he did, actually, is something you may not have picked up on, forgive me, because he gave a speech in Arabic, which is the important bit, because he's speaking to his own people and not to us, where he said that Islam needs to go back to the moderate tradition of our grandfathers and not to this new radical uh, form that we're seeing today. So this is really something quite impressive. This could be a real transformation, not just for Saudi Arabia. المملكة العربية السعودية أيضا لكنني أعتقد أن الرئيس بايدن ومن But in time, I do think that the uh, Crown Prince is going to make changes that will make it quite attractive for Western and uh, Asian capital as well to invest in. Uh, the leader of Saudi Arabia, far into the future. Uh, we have a strong interest, for example, in... Amir Mohammed bin Salman. The fact that this man says, Yes, he is a man. He is a man. He is a man. He is a man. And I say this man will be the man. He 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 will be the man.